You are the creator of the life you never want to run away from. Let's say it again. Because sometimes we, we, we give our power away to somebody over here who somehow made us think and conditioned us to believe that because they're older, because they have a certain title, because they are somebody say you gotta respect them, hmm? that they are the authority of our lives, that they are creating our lives. I say no. I say no. I say no. You sometimes forget that you are the creator of your life. Work together and she overcame that self-doubt. Got that promotion from another job. Director title. With juicy director salary benefits and bonus. Because she deserved that. Values. She got clear about what she valued and how she valued. Yes, my love. Wherever you are. Wherever you are in the world. Even if you're looking at us on the replay or you're here live. I'm so grateful you are here and you have decided to make that powerful decision to prioritize yourself. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Today, our training for today, Wednesdays, with when we are talking about the secrets to making powerful decisions as you heal. Let's say it again, the secrets to making powerful decisions as you heal. This is important for you, my loves, because you are an efficient, driven woman, a mother, and you have created a life for yourself that you deserve, and you want to keep maintaining that life. And in your everyday, your professional life, your personal life, Inside your every day, you are making decisions. Yes, you open your eyes, boom. A decision is waiting for you. That's why this is important for you because sometimes when you make that professional decision to take this strategy versus another one in your coaching business, in your mother ring decisions as you raise your family you make that decision and you may think after you see the results the proof the evidence of the decision that you make you may be thinking feeling and believing that ah i've made the wrong decision i put those in quotation marks intentionally i've made the wrong decision and what happens when you do that my love the thinking and the feeling and the believing that you've made the wrong decision. Here's what happens. The problem surfaces. You begin to, maybe, or you are tempted to beat up yourself for making that decision. You, you stir up the self-criticism and you give your inner critic, we all have them, I have them, my love. We give our inner critics the podium. We do. We say, come on, inner critic. Tell us all of the things that we have done wrong. Beat us up. Bulldoze us with all the negative things. All the things that will make us feel that we are not valuable. That we are unworthy of the thing that we are pursuing or that we should not have been so bold, so curious to pursue that dream. That's what happens. And when we do this thing, the self-criticism, the self-beratement, when we do these unloving things, what happens, my love? We are unconsciously creating space, creating space between ourselves and our visions, creating space between ourselves and the life we know we deserve. It's almost like we are creating, uh, what's that word? It's almost like we are creating a hole in the earth. It's almost like we are creating a sinkhole that separates us from the life we love. 
And we're not here for that, my love. We have come too far in our journey to ourselves as powerful women to be derailed by the destination to be derailed from the destination of our joy. That's why we have this life for you, offering you solutions so that you can keep, so that you can keep invested, keep committed, keep falling in love with the dreams, the visions, the needs, the natural and real desires that I know you have for yourselves. I've been getting them in the DMs. Your ambitious dreams are waiting for you. That's why we have solutions, secrets for making powerful decisions as you heal. My loves, let's get going because we know when life is going as you plan it to go, as it is expected to go for you, you know what I mean, you're having a good day. Yes. <laughs> Don't you love good days? Everything is going well. Your kids are healthy, happy, and so are you. Your relationships are supporting you and your dreams. You're making space for your friends, your family. You have your boundaries intact in a bow, baby. <laughs> but here's the thing, my love. That's not always our reality. And making decisions in those moments of joy, in those moments of comfort, those moments of confidence, hmm, feels good. But here's the thing, the tests that come in this game called change that is life, the true you will have to show up with a mighty gladiator of healing power because decisions are harder, tougher to make Tougher to make when the game called change that is life shows up. Yes, decisions are easier to make when life is smooth and easy. That's why we have this life for you. Because as a, you heal, and remember I said this, my love, if you are breathing, you are healing because you have endured some type of adverse experience because you're human. <laughs> you're human you've encountered some type of conflict in your life you do not have to be a trauma survivor as i said in the posts on instagram linkedin or facebook this week to have a healing journey if you're breathing you're healing okay that's why we say as you heal as you move through this thing called life let's get to the basics secrets of making powerful decisions as you heal and get to the basic of the healing journey. Numero uno, welcome in, my love. So grateful you are here. The basics of healing. I invite you to remember, my loves, the first step in creating the life that supports you is to recognize that you, before you, are choices. Let's say it again. Before you are choices. Maybe one, definitely two. Choices are before you. And just for you to stop and recognize that moment. You have something so, an offering so fruitful. It's before you. That's the first basic step in recognizing your power and moving forward in your healing. A choice is before you. That's the first step of creation. Do not diminish the power of that recognition, of that affirmation, of that truth that a choice is before you. And you can make a choice. Second step of this making decision, the secrets of making decision and the healing basic, the second step to creation is recognizing that for you to create the life you love huh? the life you never want to run away from you have to make a decision and take inspired actions to follow through with that decision you have to take action to bring forth to give birth to the life you never want to run away from first step of creation of creating the life you love, realizing you have a choice. Second step, making the decision and moving forward with actions that get you the results. Solutions. Now, stepping into the solutions, secrets of making powerful decisions that we never want to run away from. Any questions, any comments, drop it in the chat. I'm here for you, my love. Every Wednesday, <laughs> Wednesday, when? 3 p.m. Eastern. Clarify your values. And to be specific, what does this mean? What does this have to do with making powerful decisions? <laughs> My loves, because when you soulfully clarify 
the values, the principles, the principles and standards of your behavior, everything else you do are magnetized towards that value and those principles of how you operate. Your operating system is almost on autopilot. Operating system, talked about this in last week live and on several posts, how you think, feel, behave, believe, and move through life is your operating system. So when you clarify your values, what does this mean? Many of us have aspirational values, yes? We are calling your heart and your head are so connected. And you. everybody says, you know what? I want to have a good life. I want to be healthy. These are so broad and unspecific that sometimes it is hard for us to get real clear and zero in and touch the vibrational energy of that truth and that power that we hold. So here's an example. When I say get clear, clarify, and be specific about your values because your values dictate the decision-making process that you commit to and that you soulfully believe is your right. As an example, I want to feel good about myself. Maybe that's a value that you have, a value that we all have. It's called an aspirational value, broad. But if you get clear and say, huh, my value is this every day, when I open my eyes, even before I open my eyes and I'm aware of the present day, I will pay attention to the thoughts that are running in my mind. They all show up, I, my love. When you come to your conscious self, the thought that shows up, the first thought, what am I feeling? What am I hearing? Uh, what is the sound? What is the timbre of that voice? What is the tone of that voice? Am I complaining? Am I berating myself? Am I bringing in myself to a dream that I had? Am I feeling hurt? Am I feeling supported? You pay attention to that. This is one of the first steps to feeling good about yourself. When you have the awareness, when you recognize your power to shift and control the emotions that help you propel yourself into the life you love, it begins with your first thought that you are aware of. That's what I'm saying, my love. When you create your values, come out of the pie in the sky, baby. Come from the pie in the sky aspirational values. Be specific. I will be treated with loving kindness by my boss, by my children, by my husband, by my lover, by my neighbor. And here's what loving kindness looks like. They will not scream, berate. They will not belittle, disrespect. You see what I mean? Values. You get very clear and very specific so that when it comes to making that decision, like my client Jay did, should she leave her job that overlooked her for a promotion? Or should she stay in a place that makes her feel undervalued, underappreciated, and affects her confidence? What did my client Jay do? She quit the job. She quit the soul-sucking job and quit working for a company that, that appreciated her uh, skills as an accountant that really benefited from how quickly she was able to integrate new information. Come on in here. Qu quickly she was able to integrate new information and apply technical accounting skills and help them close the books on time. They appreciated that, but they overlooked her for a promotion because, hey, she was a type that she didn't complain too much. She just took what she get. And my client, Jay, said, hells to the no. I know what I deserve mid six figures and I will get them because I have the experience, I have the capability, I have the knowledge and the confidence, self-belief. And we worked together and she overcame that self-doubt, got that promotion from another job. Director title with juicy director salary benefits and bonus because she deserved that. Values. She got clear about what she valued and how she valued herself clear and specific. That's solution number one, my loves. If this is landing for you, let me know in the comments. Next, the secrets for making powerful decisions as you heal. Heal meaning as you journey through life. Number two, when life throws you a curveball, my loves, in those moments, those curveball moments in the game called change that is life, 
that's when you really dig in deep and soulfully committed to the practices that keep you on course. The soulful supportive practices of healing that I help my clients with in my virtual retreat, in my in-person retreat, and my one-on-one coaching practice. You stay committed and you do the things that you do not want to do on the days that you ain't want to do them. On the days you ain't want to do them. I'm from the islands, you're going to get it. (laughs) On the days when you do not want to do the healing exercises that I teach you. That's the days you do them. And stick around, my loves. I give you a bonus on this training. I give you a one-minute healing practice you can do so it can get you to break up with that self-doubt so that you can make that powerful decision that brings you closer to the life you love, helps you create the life you never want to run away from. Number two, when you do not want to do the healing practices, whatever they are, with me or maybe you've worked with another coach, whatever they are, dig in and do them. Even if it's for a shorter period of time that you normally do those healing practices, you do them. What are you doing in those spaces? You are building the soulful, loving commitment, the marriage, the promise to yourself. You're keeping those promises. You're building emotional capacity and resiliency to move through the days that are challenging. You know how it is when you build muscles? When you build endurance, the more you do the thing, the tough thing, the more relaxed and easier it is for you to face the next tough thing, difficult thing, because you know how it feels. You know how to hold that discomfort, that uncomfortable emotions that come up and want you to do what? Fall back into the arms of survival mode. Fall back into the arms of feeling less than. We are training ourselves to move forward in our healing. That's why you stay the course. And even when you ain't wanna do the trainings, wanna do the healings, you do them. You do them to build that resiliency and that mental toughness. And I help my clients with, just like my client M, who had that tough conversation with her husband, had that tough conversation of where she was feeling neglected, lonely, alone, silent, rejected in her marriage. You have that tough conversation because you do the healing work and you get closer to the remembrance of the life you love, you get closer to the person who reminds you soulfully inside of you that you deserve all that you desire. Soulful, loving, intimate, emotionally intimate relationship with your loved one and with yourself. And you stay the course and you move in that rhythm. That's what we do inside my private one-on-one coaching and inside my private retreat. So my client, M, she had that conversation, the tough conversation that made her feel uncomfortable with her husband. She did because she knew that discomfort, facing it, owning that and moving to the truth will get her closer to the loving relationship that she now has. And I love, love that for her and being a witness to that becoming my love number three, mentally, and physically create space for yourself where you are not thinking about making that decision. What do you mean mentally and spatially and all this? It means that when we are faced, especially ambitious women, entrepreneurs, especially mothers, you have children running around, you have parents meeting, school just started, you have all these things and you're juggling your own professional responsibility or you're you're managing the house. Yes, you have all these dogs running around. My love, find some space in that day that you're having this challenge to physically remove yourself from the immediacy of the things that remind you you've got to make that decision. That's the physical part. Step away, step away, 
if you can. Go into another room. Step away from your desk if you're at the office. If you're working remotely, go into your garden. Step physically away from the immediacy of the thing that reminds you of the decision. Then while you're there, mentally, my love, invite yourself to think of, if you cannot physically go to this place, think of one of the most relaxing experience you've had. Visualize that space. Feel the breeze, whatever it is that you like. Some people like to do their nails, go to the beach, go hiking, knitting, playing music, whatever it is. Go to that place that completely relaxes you and helps you not to remember that decision that your inner critic keeps saying, you got to make this decision, you got to make this decision, you're waiting too long. We're creating that mental space that gives you space to breathe and relax and not think about that decision. This is the bonus we're stepping into now. And when you are there, when you are there, remind yourself, speak into your heart. You may want to hug yourself. You may want to caress yourself. You may want to close your eyes. You may want to just put your palms together and remind yourself of all the good, good, good stuff all that you have brought to your life, all the decisions you have made that has led you to this day. Thank yourself. Stop, see, witness yourself. Hug on yourself and remind yourself what you have forgotten. Because life has been so good, life life has been so uh, rewarding, so beautiful, you've been so happy. And sometimes we forget that or that's just around the corner, life will change. Life will change because that's a game called change. And that's another opportunity for us to stretch. So after you've spent at least two minutes hugging on yourself and loving yourself, doing that thing that relaxes your mind, the thing that separates you now intentionally from making that decision, from feeling that pressure. Hmm? After you finish reminding yourself, then... You step back into the space at a pace you can handle. You may decide after you've done that, you know what, that's it. I'm going to close down my computer. I'm going to spend an extra hour just doing the thing that relaxes me. Then, after you've got that loving support, my love, ah, you will emotionally realize that what you are dealing with is just the game called change that is life and decisions will come up and knock on the door of your heart and ask you, knock, 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 what do you value before you make this decision? Is this decision in alignment, knock, 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 with your soulful desires? Is this decision in alignment with your values, your standards of behavior? Is this decision in alignment with your desires, needs, visions for yourself and the life that you never want to run away from. Knock, 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 knock on your heart. This decision will come. And after you've done that practice that I gave you, just a taste of what my client S had to do when she prioritized her healing, even though she was a busy, busy soul entrepreneur just starting her practice, she made time prioritizing these healing practices because she knew that for her to be a present mom when she got home in the evening, for her to be producing the work and delivering the tax returns that her clients needed, the quality work, she first had to prioritize herself. So when she got that knock, 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 she was ready, prepared, and expected that the gladiator that is her in her healing journey, in her journey through life, will show up and make that decision. My loves, I hope this is helpful for you. I hope you are feeling your power, your energy, your divine grace and mercy, because as an ambitious woman, every single day as a mother, (laughs) as a woman, as a human, Inside every second, inside every minute, inside every day, 
a decision, a choice is waiting for you. Yes, my love, this has landed for you. Please let me know in the comments. Any questions you have, send me in the chat. Let me know. Yes, Trace is saying, it's way harder to think. Ah, it's way harder than people think to value yourself. It's landing for you. Thank you so much, Heather. I'm so grateful this is helping. Sometimes it's hard for us to value yourself, but my love, that's a soulful work I help my clients with, especially in my VIP training, my VIP healing sessions, where we sometimes just need a shift. We've been doing all the powerful work all along, and we just need that shift to realign our thinking, feeling, and believing the way we operate, the way we operate, we can tap back into that because life will throw us curveballs. Life will throw us curveballs along the way. But when we train our minds, train the coherence within our minds and our hearts, and we show up believing, thinking, feeling we're worthy, everything falls in its place. As I said this week, on my live on one of my Wednesdays with when those micro healing sessions I have on Instagram sometimes you may feel like you're standing in an ocean alone with only your God and your truth and instead my love I invite you to do this instead of feeling the nudge the, the hug of self-pity you shift over here and you feel that you are in Excellent company, excellent company, your feelings, your thoughts, your emotions, the messages from God, and it's just the strength, your God, to listen, the courage that you foster, to listen, believe, and know that you are the creator of the life you never want to run away from. Let's say it again, because sometimes we, we, we give our power away to somebody over here who somehow made us think and conditioned us to believe that because they're older, because they have a certain title, because they are somebody say you gotta respect them, mm -hmm. that they are the authority of our lives, that they are creating our lives. I say no. I say no. I say no. You sometimes forget that you are the creator of your life, my love. You are the co-creator of your life. You and your God create the thoughts, the feelings, the expressions that you live and believe and you move through. Sometimes you just need a shift. I'm here for you, my love. Remember, every thought that you have creates your reality. Every feeling you have supercharges your reality and your behaviors. And whenever that doubt comes knocking, that power-hungry doubt comes knocking and brings those troll thoughts and tell you you should not make that decision because so-and-so will be upset, you should not make that decision because you do not have all the information I love. Tap into your awareness. And when you need that support and you have blind spots, maybe because you live so close to your expressions in your day, the behaviors that you live and move through life with, you're so close to it, you don't see your blind spots in your operating system. That's when you reach for me. A loving, caring, seasoned coach who's been there. I speak plainly about my journey of empowerment. Yes. It ain't no shame in your truth, honey. That is just the fuel you need to activate, to elevate, to get aligned with your soulful mission. To do what? <laughs> Honor yourself and your soulful, real, and natural desires. All of them matter. My loves, maybe... Maybe sometime soon I'll give you a reflection on why I sit so firmly and I'm so grounded in the power of your self-belief because I've seen it, witnessed it so many times with my clients from different parts of the world, different, different, different socioeconomic background. It starts with here and here. Heart, head, heart, head. You have the power to create and live the life you never want to run away from. You need any support, any help, my link uh, my link to my VIP training, my one-on-one -on -one coaching is in, if you're looking at me here, Instagram, LinkedIn, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, or you send me a message at Rebel for a Spell. You are worthy of living the life you never want to run away from. I'm here to support you. 
I'm here to support you. I'll see you next week for Wednesdays with when? 3 p.m. Eastern. 3 p.m. <laughs> bye, my loves. Thank you, Malaya. So lovely. So grateful you are here. I'm so proud of all the work you are doing. I'm reading all your messages. Bye. <laughs>